Hello everybody, my name is Lele Valde. As you know, rent in Lagos can be extremely expensive. But today, we're speaking to Ibrahim Balalola of Masta. Masta is a rent sharing platform that's revolutionizing the way that people share properties in Nigeria. Let's speak to Ibrahim and find out how Masta is changing the way Africans will Master is a peer-to-peer -peer shared housing marketplace. Master is a rent share platform. But what Master is, is a platform that's making renting properties more affordable for, for young professionals on the continent. We, we're right in the process um, for that. We, you know, we're working very hard to go live in a number of other African countries before the end of Q2 2018. We have our focus on Ghana, Kenya, Congo, and um, Johannesburg in South Africa uh, in the pilot stage. The reason why we started in Nigeria was because of the numbers, of course. Um, our target market in Nigeria is over 40 million people. The entire population of Ghana is 20-something million people, you know, which makes the target market um, probably lower. So this project is Most Africa. You will be able to go on Africa, and then you will see all the countries that we cover and then you then be able to select whatever country in, in interest or whatever country you live in uh, to be able to see flat mates, very fast flat mates properties in, in, in this country. I mean, the goal itself is to make most a global brand for affordable living. That is, that is the goal. Well, we're starting in Nigeria, we're moving to other African countries and at some point probably move to Eastern Europe because it's a problem that is in, you know, it's a problem that Pretty much even surpasses the African continent. So when you go to um, places in Eastern Europe like Albania and um, you know Portugal, you still have these these problems where the, the property prices are unaffordable. You know, we're doing more with um, AI and machine learning, where you would you know answer a couple of questions and and Monster would recommend the most ideal flatmates um, for you. And you know these are these are features that that we've tested over and over and. Um, these are features that we've tested over and over and for sure it will be very exciting to use. You know, those are some of the things that they were rolling out. 2018, you know, we're just going to make sure that everybody finds what they're looking for in Master. We're going to work harder, we're going to work smarter. You know, we're going to be there from the, from the time when they're looking for properties to when they're moving. My favorite moment working, working at Master was, you know, when, when someone got uh, got an apartment in, in Lekki Phase 1 for, for 60k a month and the apartment was furnished and it came with a gen and it, and it was you know the rent was monthly and it's almost shocking that that happened you know but that made that reassured the team that Monster was freedom you know which is which is why we created Monster freedom to choose where you want to live freedom to pay how you want to pay freedom to choose who you want to live with you know Freedom in itself. And, you know, I tell you this for free. The person that actually found the property was very skeptical in using the product. So she went and Mosta found Mosta. I think Mosta was referred to her by someone that had got an apartment on Mosta, her colleague. And she went and uh, went on customer support and says, also, oh, my colleague recommended this product. Um, but I see that I need to pull my government ID. Why are you people asking for this information? <laughs> uh, I'm not comfortable putting it online or that. Uh, it is part of our KYC process because we need to validate that you're who you say you are on the government database, right? So we need to make sure that everybody is safe using the product. And she says, okay, I'm gonna put it up, but I need to know where your office is. I need to come to your office. I'm like, okay, you're you're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome to come to our office. Um, can you come anytime Monday to Friday? And she says, no, I'm working Monday to Friday. I want to come on Saturday. I was like, okay, <laughs> come, come on Saturday. Uh, and we, we met, she came to the office and obviously, you know, some of us had to go to the office on, on Saturday. She came to the office, met with the team, put her face on you know, the product and then she was comfortable in going back to going back to to put to put her information up and then she got the property and I think she's probably the happiest user <laughs> that we've had or the happiest sharer because she got she got a fantastic property for 60k a month in lucky like one you know in lucky like one 60k a month anybody will be happy to get that kind of offer.
Um, the guys at CNBC, London Reach starts us. Um, they like to interview us to learn more about you know what we're doing with most in Africa and how we're changing the way people rent properties in in Africa. So we have that interview in um, in February. Uh, we're also changing the entire UI of the of the platform to make the site even better to use. You know by increasing the user experience, we're making it making making it better. But but we're adding. Or adding new products, uh, I'd say one of them. One of them would be tenancy agreements, where by clicking on four answers, you'll be able to download full tenancy agreements between you and your flatmates. You know, and then you don't need to pay the hundred, hundred, uh, the ten percent legal to any landlords again. These will be open for users on most and non-users on most alike, and a lot of other interesting, interesting features. While doing more with um, AI and machine learning. Where you would, you know, answer a couple of questions, and and Monster would recommend the most ideal flatmates um, for you. So that was looking to start a company. Um, I would say make sure that you're solving a problem, because what I what I've seen in this market is that a lot of people create products and then seek out the problem. You know, build build products and then go and go and find the problems that the that the products are solving, right? This, this, I would say that anybody that wants to start a company should actually make sure that you're solving, you're solving a problem. And if there isn't a problem that, that, if there isn't a new problem to solve, and there's already a company that is solving the problem, take an internship in the company. You know, join the company, support whatever they're trying to do. You don't have to start a new, a new company to solve the same, the same problem. Particularly if a company is already solving the problem, the problem very well. Um, also, try to get mentors, you know, people that have either run startups successfully or even failed with running startups. You need both set of people because you need to learn from why this, their companies survived and why their companies failed. So seek out mentorship, you know, from both both types of both types of entrepreneurs. Um, I would say if you can actually get experience before you start a company. Now in 2018, you should actually go for whatever interests you, you know, whatever you find. Because I've seen that a lot of graduates still don't have a clue what they want to do. They're just looking for a pay at the end of the month. So whilst you're in school, look for something that interests you. Go for a course that interests you. If you like design, do a course in multimedia design or communications or multimedia design. If you like to build something, software engineering or the actual engineering. If you, if you like to talk to people, marketing, right? Um, just make sure that you, you, you put yourself in a position where you stand out from the crowd. Hello there, have you subscribed to Business Day? If you haven't, make sure you do so right away because it is the smartest way to stay ahead of your competition and also get all your business news at your fingertips. So log on to www.businessdayonline.com.